have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. Guys, today we're going to make egg loaf. And I want you to preheat your oven at 350. I'm using a square loaf pan. You can use a, 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 a thinner one. I, I don't have one that will fit in my little cooking oven. So what you're going to need is oops, eight eggs. There's one. And I usually pull these little white things out because I can't stand this stuff now. <laughs> and my hands are clean. You didn't see me wash them on air, but my hands are clean. One, oops, oh, two, I hope that's in the frame, three, Seven and eight. Okay, we're gonna add eight eggs. And like I said, I usually pull those little white things out, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna pull it off there. Okay, we have eight eggs in our bowl. This is an egg loaf. Okay, my glasses. Okay, with eight eggs, you're gonna use a full stick of butter. You guys, I've had these out of the refrigerator for probably about a half hour. It's 117 here in Arizona today. Didn't take very long for this stuff to get to room temperature. But what you want to do is uh, you want to put your softened butter, a whole stick for this recipe. The mackerels will be down below after the, in the description, guys. Okay. And then you want to, I use Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, it was on sale, by the way, 99 cents. But anyway, uh, you want to put your cream cheese in, also softened. You guys, I will show you the final product. My camera does not like to be put on pause. And with that being said, please wait. After this video ends and me prepping this and getting it ready to go into the oven, uh, stay stay tuned because there'll be a video afterwards showing you. Oh gosh, I usually keep yeah. I usually keep scissors because of my nails. Um, there'll be a video afterwards showing you the product after it comes out of the oven. You know what? This is just new on the scene. For those who um, are diabetic on ketos, uh, ketos diet, or like me, have a block duck. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, I've taken it more serious. Yeah, taking my eating habits a little more serious lately. So anyway, into this. Now you want to let's move that over there. You want to blend this, guys. You can use a blender. Ooh, cream cheese <laughs> under my nail. Uh, you can use a blender, a food processor, and I would have done down my food processor, but I wasn't in the mood. We're gonna swap this all around. You guys remember the old days when we used to have to mix stuff by hand? My little sister was notorious for licking the wall. Now, if you don't soften your butter or take it, pre take it out, um, or your cream cheese, you can microwave it. Because as you guys can see, I had that cream cheese up, and it still takes a minute to get this all blended.
the thing, yeah, right, still got a lot of blending. The thing about this recipe is it tastes like French toast. You can make it savory. You don't have to add the, the I'm adding um, a sweetener. You want to add uh, two tablespoons. Let me see here. I do believe it's, no. You want to add, I'm going to add drops to this. I'm thinking about another recipe. I'm doing another recipe about jar ice cream. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Um, to make this taste more like French toast, I'm going to add just a little bit of my stevia drops. There's no carbs in that. And you want to use real cinnamon. This is real cinnamon, guys. <laughs> Look it up on the internet. The other stuff can kill you. The fake stuff. You've heard me mention that before. You want a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, real cinnamon, if you got it. If not, use your fake stuff. <laughs> okay. And we're going to go back to beating this some more. So they came out with a, a thing that said about eating cinnamon every day. And what they didn't tell people is the cinnamon you buy at the store, the cheap stuff. I don't have an issue with buying cheap stuff or being frugal, but uh, stuff can actually kill you. There's people eating it every day. Thinking that, that we're going to do that just like that. Now, you guys, you can add honey to this if you want it more sweet. You can add uh, sweetener. I'm not adding sweetener. Um, although, I guess besides this, you know, that's sweet enough. Um, the thing about this is you can make this savory by not adding the cinnamon. You could add uh, garlic and all of that. Sometimes I like savory. Um, yeah, let me make sure. No. Sometimes I like savory French toast. I'm just going to put some butter on there. It makes it more like a meal. Let's put this on high for a few minutes. Sorry about the noise. Like how I rigged my camera. Okay, that's it. So anyway, real quick before we dump this in the pan, I had somebody ask about my bracelets and if I was hiding tattoos. No, I'm not. Um, here you'll see my son Brent, who I was asking help for. He's my oldest and my only daughter, Hillary. That's on this side. And then on this side are my twins, Garrett and Eric. Eric is no longer with us. The bracelets, each every one of these bracelets, you guys, have been gifted me. This one, everybody in my family wears, my daughter and me wear identical bracelets. We, we got these like in 2007. My ex got me. I could just go on and on and on. A roommate got me that. Another roommate got me that. I mean, I had to take off some of my bracelets because they were traveling up my arm. But I don't wear these bracelets to hide my children's names. I wear them simply because they've been gifts. And I, I'm very sentimental that way. I'm a sentimental fool. So for those of you who are inquiring, now you know what's on my list. I do have um, other tattoos. Every one of my tattoos, you guys, um, has a meaning. <laughs> Or either somebody that I love that died or, yeah, some significance. So anyway, you want to pour this in, right? I'm worried about that. I'm worried about that. Um, let me grab a spatula here. Do, 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 do. Oops, got that one. Okay, you guys, this you're going to cook for 40 minutes. 
or more depending on how deep your pan is. This one here may take an hour because it's a loaf pan and it's not a casserole pan. We're going to put that there. We're now going to put this in the oven I'm using my toaster oven. So if you guys will hang around, I'll be back with the final product. I hope you like the way I set up my camera. Don't forget to love yourselves. Have a great day. Are you back? I forgot to tell y'all. You want to sprinkle a little cinnamon on top of this uh, before you throw it in. Dirt the dirt. You guys, this is going to rise, by the way, so you want to make sure you've got a couple inches um, for this to rise. So sprinkle some cinnamon on there. By the way, I got this cinnamon on eBay, of course. Free shipping. You buy it in the stores, it's pretty expensive. So anyway, now we're going to pop it. We're back with our egg loaf. <laughs> Mine rose so much, it's stuck in my little oven figure. So anyway, what we're going to do here is you can top this with um, granulated sugar if you want. Sprinkle it on top. Or after it's done, you can use some sugar-free syrup. If this is sweet, so today I will not be topping it with just butter. And i got to tell you guys, there's enough butter in this already. This is uh, be cut into six slices for me, maybe eight. Um, I'm putting the mackerels down there for six slices. There we go. I know it don't look so good, but you know what? I hear it's delicious. This is going to be my dinner today. So, uh, let me see here. This has five carbs for two tablespoons. So we're not using two tablespoons. We're going to use about a teaspoon. And I think we will add a little extra cinnamon. Sorry, put that away. A little extra cinnamon here. Hang on, it's coming. Let's see. Yeah, right? A fork. God, I have my days, you guys. I really have my days, I'm telling you. We're going to put a little extra cinnamon on this. And I'm going to tell you if this tastes like French toast. You ready? Let's see here. Let's cut this open. What I'll do with the rest of this is put this in my refrigerator, and I'll have this once a day. Wow, it's fluffy, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> god, you guys. Hmm. It tastes just like French toast. I kid you not. This tastes just like French toast. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Imagine if you don't cook it in a loaf pan and you cook it in a triangle. It would probably come out a little better. Because mine rose and fell like three times. Mm. One more bite. Oh. Amazing. Mm, mm, mm. That is amazing. It really tastes like French toast, you guys. Mm. Amazing. Anyway. The cinnamon, I know my hands are got butter on them. This is very buttery. You don't need to add no butter. Um, the cinnamon that I buy is organically grown. It tells you about the truth about real cinnamon. I encourage you all to buy real cinnamon. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to go finish my breakfast. Peace out. Have a good day.